Good morning everyone, Jan Hicks of Jan Hicks Creates here, back home on the island of Oahu. As you, many of you know, we did a quick trip to Phoenix and back, and I will talk about that in a second here. Um, let's see, it is Tuesday, April 9th at 9.32 a.m., getting in a little bit earlier this morning, so it isn't quite as hot up here in the loft. 76 degrees, currently going up to 80, partly cloudy. We had some of that mizzly stuff this morning, sun shining and stuff coming down. Love it. Just love it. Um, the quote. I tried to put the quote... Okay, so the pictures... Of course, we weren't around this weekend, so we didn't... Um, I don't have a lot of gorgeous Hawaii pictures to show you. The pictures were of us leaving Phoenix, flying, landing, coming around the island of Oahu, and landing at the airport. So, um, something different. The quote is from... Life magazine. Mike and I rewatched the movie *The Life of Walter Mitty*, *The Secret Life of Walter Mitty*, um, last night. Excuse me. We love that movie. I know it got panned a bit, but Mike and I love it. We own it. We rewatch it periodically. So I thought I would. The, the quote, the quote always speaks to me, but it spoke to me even more last night after the weekend. Um, so I tried to, or I'm going to try, I don't know how it will work out. If you saw the quote spread out across the pictures at the beginning, then it worked. <laughs> to see the world, things dangerous to come, to see behind walls, to draw closer, to find each other and to feel. That is the purpose of life. It spoke to me because, as you know, we went back to Phoenix for a um, funeral Mike did have a death in his family. Um, the son of one of his cousins died of an overdose. 24. Well, we were told 24, and then somebody else said 21. I don't think I ever actually um, confirmed that. But young, so young. You know, when something like that happens, you, you think, I have sons, 20 years old. The youngest will be 21 at the end of November. The older one will be 23 at the end of June. So your mind automatically thinks, there but for the grace of God go I. Mike pretty much fell apart. Um, he's a very empathetic man to begin with. He hasn't really talked to, well, the one cousin, the one who lost his son, um, he hasn't talked to in a few years. The brother of the one who lost his son, he hasn't seen in over 30. So when family comes together like that, as I'm sure many of you know, it's, you know, it's a hard time. You only seem to get together at weddings and funerals, right? But it was also a very special time. So, um, yeah, the purpose of life, to draw closer together. That's what this weekend was all about. I'm happy to report that Mike's parents are doing, they're stable, they're doing better. Um, so good to be able to spend time with them for a little while and just check on them in person and know that for the moment, they're good. Mike's dad had a transfusion last Wednesday. That is the day that we arrived. Well, he had a transfusion, I don't know which day of the week, Monday, Tuesday. He came home from the hospital Wednesday. Um, they did not go to the funeral Thursday because he didn't, they didn't feel that his energy level could handle it, which is fine, which is another good reason why that, you know, Mike and I went for Mike and I to go. Um, but so far they're doing good. Mike or, um, Dick has four weeks left on the blood thinners in that period of time. That's when the, um, watchman will heal over and he should be able to be taken off blood thinners at that point and all of these GI bleed problems will be gone. So hopefully then, um, barring anything else major happening, um, they will be good for however long. But it was, it was just so good to be there and to just verify with our own eyes that they're good. So yeah, um, went to Joanne's 
40% off total purchase sale, took advantage of it and got not only the list of floss that I needed for various projects that I've started, but also everything else I was missing except the lower numbers, the brand, the newest floss, one through 35. Joann's did not have them. Many of you commented that your Michaels carries them not only in the tin, but also individually. Um, I went to the Michaels in surprise and did not see them. Now I didn't have a whole lot of time to, to, to investigate, um, but I didn't see them in the, in the cross stitch aisle. Mike followed me around that store, <laughs> looking at his phone, which is fine, but he's, he's walking and he's standing and he's looking at his phone. He lost me a couple times because I'm moving. I'm, I'm trying to find, there were a couple other things that I needed, you know, a couple other, other projects I needed things for. So I was, I was moving through the aisles and there was a couple times and I'm just like, I finally took him up to the front door, stood him. I said, stay there. I'll be back. <laughs> like as bad as having a kid love you dear he doesn't watch my video so not a, not a big deal anyway um i took let's see is that oh the other news i had for you i didn't get to watch any floss tube new floss tubers i didn't get to watch any floss tube this weekend which was fine i wasn't expecting to so nothing new to report there but i did want to tell you you may have seen it on instagram if you are on Instagram, mybobbin.com, the Russian site that I have, you know, um, recommended to you, and a lot of you have um, purchased things from there. The doors that, um, the spring door is the one I've started. I have all four seasonal doors. They are by an artist named Anna Pet Petunova. Hopefully that's right. Um, because there was such an increased interest based on what I was doing here on my floss tube channel. My Bobbin, the CFO of My Bobbin, got in touch with me, let me know that she had talked to the designer and they agreed to do a 20% off any of her designs, including those doors. Um, let's see, April 4th to April 11th, I believe are the dates. Now that only leaves a couple more days. She let me know this after I had filmed all of my videos for last week. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to let you know earlier, but it is going through, I believe it's, it's the 11th, it might be the 10th. Um, mybobbin.com, Anna Petovina, Petunova, Petunova. Um, I will put the link in the show notes. I'll go ahead and put that in the description box below so it's ready or readily available for you. I didn't get my show notes up for my video last week. I'll, I'll try and get them all up this week, this, this on my website, this video and last video. Um, last week, as you, I'm sure you know, things, things just didn't happen. But anyways, if you're interested in those doors, this would be a good time to get them, 20% off all of her designs. Um, let's see, so I took, I think that's all I have to look at this for. Yes. Um, I took four projects, five projects with me to Arizona because, you know, I was going to be going, gone four or five days, you know, that's how it works. Did take my knitting project, got a little bit done on that. Um, I'm getting into the point where there's a lot of decreases and I have to work both sides and um, or I should work, work work both sides to make it faster and easier and my brain just couldn't handle that at, at the point there was a lot of um, a lot of extrovert activity I've told you before I'm very much an introvert after the funeral there was a wake at Mike's cousin's house I assume it's called a wake I don't know whether you still call it a wake. There was a get together with a lot of food at Mike's cousin's house and there were a ton of people. Now I have met several of Mike's, like I've met the cousin, I've met his wife, I met the aunt. Um, you know, I've met several of Mike's family. Mike is an only child, so there's not a whole lot in his immediate family. But there's an awful lot of the family that I've never met. Um, and there were a ton, of course, this was a, a young man, there were a ton of people there. I've told you, I'm an introvert, all that extrovert activity just about killed me. 
<laughs> I don't mean to make light of it, but um, it was an all-day event that I came home from and just, well, and then there was interaction with, with Mike's parents, which is fine. That's not really extrovert activity at this point. You know, I know them well enough that I'm comfortable, but I was pretty much just done. I think I slept until nine the next day on Friday and I was still just totally and part of it was jet lag I'm sure but I was just a mess <laughs> on Friday um, so we did most of our running around on Saturday so I but I did get um, I get got stitches done on pretty much everything except one and I'll show you that in a second so let me show you my progress I worked on, sorry, I don't have these in the order I would like them to be in. So, Quilter's Cottage. Shoot, I meant, out to, get, meant to get out the um, picture for this and forgot. Sorry, guys, but you've seen this many times. Quilter's Cottage from um, Fat Quarter Shop, Lori Holt, Be In My Bonnet, etc., etc., etc. As you know, I'm changing the colors. So, I have decided I'm going to be keeping the... Um, the aqua for the frame window frame and the gray for the um, for the window panes. I kind of like the more subtle weathered look. You know, I wanted to have this beachy cottage look, and I think that works. So I got um, all of the front of the house done, the stoop done. Don't let me forget when I'm done here that there's a needle on the floor so that I don't have to find it with my foot. Remind me, okay? And um, the front of this how, part of the house done. So that was on the flight to Phoenix. I worked on this. It was a um, flight. We left here at about 11. We got into Phoenix at 8, so it was dark. Um, you know, there wasn't light coming in from the outside. I just had the little overhead light in the in the cabin to use, so I wanted to use something that had pretty light colors to work on and an easy count of fabric to see. So I'm happy with my progress on this. I think it's really pretty. I love the pops of pink. Just so pretty. Um, where do I put stuff? That'll do. That needle's really going to bother me. Um, the majority of the time, oh, there's more needles that I'm going to send flying. Er, I worked on this beauty. I did pull the picture of that, didn't I? Oh, no, I didn't. God, I don't have my act together today at all. All right, this is the kit that I got. I actually got this from So and So in the UK, the, the online store in the UK. This is a Russian kit. I believe that's pronounced oven. I believe that's an N, but I'm don't I'm not a Russian linguist, so I'm not totally sure. I love it. I am having a hard time putting this down, and I am still unsure that I will put it down. So I got most of that big vase done. I'm filling in the black outline now. And then I'll start working across. So I'm filling in all the little black pieces here, like that are the stems and things and the outline of the vase. And then I think I'm going to start working across so I can work on those beautiful purple flowers. I may or may not do, these are half stitches back here with this beige color and this gray color. I may or may not do those since a lot of those colors are kind of in the fabric. I'm gonna finish it all and then see what I think, if I think it needs it. But it's, it's just the colors, the pop of colors with the black is just, it tickles me to no end. On the flight back, again, I wanted something that was fairly easy to see, even though it was a daylight flight. We left at eight in the morning, got back at about three in the afternoon here. Linen and Threads Mystery, Stitch Along from 2017. 
So I finished, whoops, <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> I finished the bees and I got this band done. So this one doesn't have a whole lot more to go. I am going to do two more of the skinnier bands and then the big bottom band. It's a very decorative band. Um, part of me wants to push through and finish this so that it's done. But realistically, um, each one of these, well, the one band is probably about that big. It's not going to take very long. I'd probably get that done in a day. The other band would probably take me two or three days. It's about that size. And then the big band on the bottom, it's probably about this size with a lot going on. Um, that would take me maybe a three or four more days. Maybe I should just push and get it done. You know, I would love to get this done and get it off the list because other things just keep getting added to the list. But anyways, I'm very happy with this. I did, somebody asked me for my colors, what colors I used. I did put on my website, madforyarn.com, under the banner at the top, there is a list, uh, the um, list of the pages that exist on the website. One of them is color conversion. If you go to that page and scroll to the bottom, you will see, these are all DMCs, you will see um, what colors I'm using in this. So, very, very happy with it. And yes, anxious to get it done. So I, I may just push through. What do you think I should do? So many things call to me. <sighs> the other one, now this one I did not work on at all. This is my, um, again, I didn't pull out the, the picture. I'm sorry, guys. I'm obviously not, um, I'm still looking for the needle. <laughs> um, I'm obviously not, is that it? No. I'm obviously very not well. <laughs> I do not have my act together today. I will blame it on jet lag. Because why not? So this is Lila Studio Season Summer. I didn't work on this at all over the weekend because it is 40 count. Um, I wasn't going to try and work on it on the plane because the light isn't good enough and the light at my in-laws house was not good enough. So um, I worked on it a little bit yesterday. This is my hour a day project, 40 count legacy. I am using all the called for colors. I know. Can you believe it? Who does that? I don't usually, but I like it. So I'm using them. So yesterday in my hour, I got half of the pot filled in with the, that is B5200. So an hour a day, we'll get this done eventually. I'd like to have it done before, um, before StitchCon. That's kind of my tentative goal. And I think it'll happen. So that's everything I've worked on this week. Yes, I was just wondering if I had worked on anything here at home different than these before we left for Phoenix, but I think I was working on the, um, the vitreous art vase. And okay, so several of you have requested um, the link for that. I will put that down below as well, as well as in my show notes on my website. Um, So-and-so, S-E-W-A-N-D-S-O dot C-O dot U-K, I think is the website. Um, if you do want to search on it, you're going to look for it like vitreous is not spelled correctly. It's V-I-T-R-E-O-S, no U in it. There are two other patterns in this series, I guess, the same design, vitreous art one, vitreous art two, vitreous, vitreous art number three. I have number two. They're all gorgeous. Um, someday I hope to do them all, but they are all gorgeous. Okay. What else? My God, I'm only at 20 minutes. Yay. Am I going too fast? I don't know. I feel like I'm going fast, but I have to get to the store and, you know, things are calling to me and I'm still looking for the needle. <laughs> I think you guys are saying, don't forget the needle, Jan, don't forget the needle. So every time you say that, I look down. Um, okay, plans. Obviously, I haven't a clue <laughs> because I really would like to get the linen and threads sampler done, the band sampler. 
push and get that done. I have an anniversary coming up on the 12th on Friday. Mike and I's anniversary. We've been married 17 years this Friday. 17, is that right? 2002, yeah, 17 years, which in itself is just mind-boggling to me. It seems like just yesterday. Um, so, surely having an anniversary means I get to have a new start, right? <laughs> All right, so I didn't mention this last week because I hadn't actually purchased it. The Paradise Design by Sandy Orton, Cooler Design Studio. I saw this on Instagram, immediately searched it out, immediately decided I needed it, but I didn't buy it right away. I think I bought it the next day after my, my last video because I knew I needed it. So all of this, the called for fabric is 28. This panel in here is one over one. Orchids, birds of paradise, orchids at the top, hibiscus at the bottom. Anniversary, new start. And check out this fabric. What do you think? So I would start it, I mean, I would have it this way, so top to bottom. So what do you think? This is 28 count. This is one of the fabrics that I got in the box from my friend um, CJ. I think this fabric was made for this design. This is, sorry, I have to put on the glasses for this one. The blended needle, sunset colorway, 28 count cashel. This is a fat quarter. That's the bag that it came in. It's just D, well, I think there might be some, it's mostly DMC, I think there might be some metallic and there's some beads. New start for my anniversary. So Friday, my stitch with me on Friday. Guess what I'm gonna be doing. Now having said that, I still want to work on the Lila Studios one for an hour a day. And I think I am going to push through and get that linen and it, it makes sense, right? To get the band sampler done because I'm so close. And when I'm this close, I like to get it done and I'll feel good marking one off my list when I'm starting another one, right? I will let you know Friday how far I've gotten on that. Cheer me on keep encouraging me get the band sampler done before friday that ain't gonna happen but i'll be close has anybody seen my needle <laughs> that's like i'm afraid to like there's a little piranha down there i'm afraid to put my feet down because i'm gonna get eaten <laughs> all right so um i did stop at a goodwill here on the island there's a oh my goodness there's a bunch of great goodwills here um huge one down in pearl city i can never i never know whether it's pearl city or pearl ridge for those of you that know the island let me know pearl city pearl ridge where does one start and the other begin i don't know um i needed some black slacks for the funeral so i found a great pair there i highly believe in again it's a part of the whole reduce recycle reuse right buying um buying clothes from goodwill I'm all about that. I also found some great frames. This is one of them. Isn't that pretty? I had really been hoping that my, I didn't measure or anything, I, you know, I was going to get this regardless. Um, 
I had been hoping that Tis the Season would fit in here, but it's a little bit too long. But it has, I don't know whether you can tell, it has a great depth to it. See all that in there? So I should be able to mount pretty much anything. Um, the price was $5.99. I don't know whether the purple tags, this has a purple tag on it. I don't know whether the purple tags were part of the sale, but I was able to use my 55 and over senior discount for the first time at Goodwill. <laughs> you gotta love it, right? Um, the other one I got is this. This was $2.99. I haven't the faintest idea what I'm gonna put in here, but I love this frame. Just love it. This was actually a piece that was professionally framed in Santa Monica by the looks of it, yeah. Stone art picture framing and gallery. This is probably a postcard or something that somebody put in here. And I may just hang that up as it is for now, because that's kind of a neat piece, isn't it? So, that was um, my Goodwill haul and basically my only haul. Um, so, guess what? I have some giveaways. There's always something I need to get rid of. So, one of the, um, the DMC packs, they didn't have, at the Joann's, they didn't have the, um, what is it, 38, 85 to 38, no, 3880 to 3895. They did not have those individually at Joann's. They did have them as a package. And in that package, they included um, this little pamphlet with charts. Well, let me see if I can find the pictures without showing the charts. There are three charts in here. This one's a little bit cut off. That is one of them. sneaky and bring it up from the bottom. That's the second one. And that's the third one. So I will send this to whoever wants it if you are interested. Again, it does take all of the new, the, the next to new colors, 3890 to 3895. If you are interested in this, um, just say I would like the DMC charts. This will just go in a regular little envelope, first class mail. As I said, Grateful Hearts is finished. If you would like this, please say in your comment, I would like Grateful Hearts. Now, I have written on this chart. I wrote or colored in in blue colored pencil. You can still see the, the markings just fine, but in blue colored pencil, I the white lines on the plaid heart, I have colored in, and then I colored the outline of this heart in the blue pencil so I could keep track of where I was. So there is markings on this chart. It is, you know, a little bit used, but it's perfectly readable. So. Again, if you're interested, say I would like great, the Grateful Hearts chart or Grateful Hearts or whatever. I never did hear from the person who won the Christmas list chart the first time. So this morning I did do another random number generator and Jesse C has won this. Jesse, I put a comment on your comment from that video. So hopefully you will see that and email me with your snail mail address and I will get this in the mail to you. I do have to say I'm a little bit uncomfortable. Um, I deleted my comment from the person that won it originally. Um, obviously she hasn't watched any of my videos in the past two weeks. People get busy, I know, but you would think at some point when there, you know there's a giveaway that you're interested in, you would you would check in. Um, especially since I did leave a comment. If she has notifications on, she would have seen that. I haven't heard anything. I feel like I've done everything I can. I wanna get this out to somebody. So Jesse C, get in touch with me. All right, 
I think that's everything. 30 minutes, perfect. Plus pictures at the beginning. Um, like I said, remind me about the needle. Thank you. <laughs> um, cheer me on for linen and, ba linen and threads band sampler. Friday, let's see where I am. Friday, stitch with me. Anniversary start. My joy being back home. Oh, Sasha is all better, by the way. He is fine. Um, so he's back to being his old ornery self. Yay. My joy is being here. My joy was being with my family. Um, there is nothing like caring for and being cared by the people you love. I love seeing Mike cared for by his family, wrapped in their arms. As an only child, you know, I don't know how much of the, he grew up with these cousins, so he was very close to them, but then, you know, distance, both physical and time happened. So, um, and he always teases me about my cousins. I have a ton of cousins on both sides. Um, how big my family is and uh, how a little overwhelming it is. But, uh, you know, there's a couple cousins that I am very close to and he understands that and it's good to see that on his side. So that was my joy. Um, my joy was coming back to Oahu and seeing those blue waters and still amazed that we live here. Find your joy. I still have that chart in the back of my mind. I just have to get comfortable enough with the software. I'm still trying to figure out. It's, I think it would almost be easier to get graph paper and graph it out. I don't know. Anyway, I love you guys. I will have a flip with me video up tomorrow and I will have a stitch with me on Friday. So I hope you guys have a fantastic week filled and overflowing with joy and love and family because that's what it's about. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.